how to do construction submittals. If you're working on a construction project and wondering how to handle the often complex process of submittals, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps and details to make this process smoother and more efficient. First, you need to understand what construction submittals are. These are documents, drawings, or samples that contractors prepare and submit to the project's architect, engineer, or owner for approval. The goal is to ensure that the materials and plans align with the project specifications. Creating a submittal schedule. The process starts with creating a submittal schedule. This schedule outlines the expected timelines for all project submittals and identifies who is responsible for each one. The general contractor typically creates this schedule to minimize potential delays. For example, they might schedule submittals for materials with long lead times before those for final trim work. Preparing submittal documents. Once the schedule is in place, contractors and subcontractors begin preparing their submittal documents. This involves reviewing the project specifications, plans, and any performance criteria or codes and standards relevant to their scope of work. They compile the necessary documents, such as shop drawings, product data, material samples, and test reports. Organizing the submittal package. The contractor organizes these documents into a submittal package. This package includes a transmittal or cover sheet that lists all the submittals, helping the recipient verify that nothing is missing. The package should include details like the project name, specification section, submittal number, revision or version number, package number, and the name and contact information of the submittal manager. Submitting the submittals. The contractor sends the submittal package to the general contractor for review. The general contractor then reviews the package and may send it back with notes or forward it to the design team for further review. The design team checks to ensure everything aligns with the intended design and project specifications. Review and approval process. The review process can vary, but it generally involves several steps. The submittal is reviewed by the relevant parties, such as architects, engineers, or owners. They may request additional information or revisions before approving. If the submittal is not approved, the contractor revises it based on the feedback provided and resubmits it. Documenting and tracking. To avoid errors or miscommunication, it's helpful to use submittal software. This software can automatically record submission and receipt dates, commenter names, and contact information. It also helps in tracking the status of each submittal, ensuring that all necessary information is collected and documented properly. Procurement and construction. Once the submittal is approved, the contractor can proceed with procuring the necessary materials and equipment. The approved submittals serve as a guide for the construction team to follow the design and installation requirements. Best practices. To manage submittals effectively, it's important to standardize submittal forms, clearly define requirements, and organize the submittal log. Assigning responsibilities and prioritizing critical submittals can also help streamline the process. Ensuring timely reviews and documenting review comments are key to maintaining project efficiency. By following these steps and best practices, you can ensure that your construction submittals contribute positively to the project, enhancing its efficiency and success.